What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you with some Destiny. And we are talking about the House of Wolves today again with Destiny. We're here in the reef and what I wanted to show you guys was today I am actually going to finally hit rank 3 with the Queen's Wrath with Pet Revenge. Uh, as you guys know she has three different reputation ranks at which you can purchase some items from her. So we're going to go ahead and go turn in some bounties and see if we can get anything cool for rank 3 with the Queen's Wrath which appears to be the maximum rank. Uh, so first we do have some wanted bounties we did this week. We go ahead and turn these in. Turn in all three of those. And we just hit rank 3 already. Uh, so we're going to keep on turning these in. Apparently you can go beyond rank 3. Interesting. Alright, so we got a Queen's Blessing for hitting rank 3. Or possibly for turning in all the bounties. I'm not sure which. Let's see what... Whoa! Whoa, we got all kinds of cool stuff. Okay. Uh, Alright, we'll check that out here in a second. And we got another Queen's Blessing. That was for turning in all 6 weekly bounties. Alright, cool. So now we are rank 3. Um, you can see here we got a couple of different shaders that we can get, and we can get the Queen's ship now, 17,500 Glimmer. That's going to be a lot of farming for Glimmer. And then you also have another Vestian Dynasty. I believe this is the exact same as the one... Oh, it would help if I had it. Let me equip this and see. Because I already have the Vestian Dynasty from doing the quests. I want to see if there's any difference, really, between the two. And it doesn't look like it. So I'm not sure why you would purchase this again. Maybe if you accidentally delete it. Especially because it costs 150 Vanguard marks. That's a little crazy. But we got a couple of shaders here. We got Palace Victorious. Which if you read the Grimoire Palace was where they had a battle. A uh, pretty big battle with the Awoken and the Fallen. That looks kind of interesting there. And then we also have Imogen's Fire. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, kind of just your basic light colored shader there not too bad and then the queen's ship which i definitely will be purchasing once i can get that much glimmer sari scalliot uh it's too big to even fit in the screen here apparently but it looks pretty cool you probably see a lot of people with these already that they got them from the uh prisoner of elders uh big chest loot chest drop but this way you can actually buy one if you aren't lucky enough to get anything uh from the loot chest and prisoner of elders so let's take a look we did just get a bunch of stuff uh, from that rank 3 package. So let's see what we ended up getting. Now I saw something and I'm actually really excited about this. Uh, this was what I was going to continue to grind Prison of Elders to get. This is her Benevolence, which is the Queen's sniper rifle. This is actually a sniper rifle I really wanted to get my hands on. And this, uh, I got a Void Damage one, which is kind of nice. Let's see what kind of perks this thing came with. We've got the Short Yay Scope, which is good. Taxus SLS 15. So good scope options. Clown Cartridge, that's a really good perk on snipers you see it's got a four round magazine i had this on my effort each spear and it basically when i would reload it would give you a magazine of eight snapshot is decent lightweight not so great reinforced barrel not really all that good and surplus expect to find more ammunition for this weapon uh that actually is kind of a nice perk because that perk even if you're not using if you're using the sniper or you're just carrying it you're going to find ammo drops for both your secondary and your heavy weapons uh more often so pretty cool i think i'm going to level this up and play with it a little bit and uh or i may re-roll it i'm not sure yet but pretty cool uh sniper rifle this is what i was looking forward to getting so got that in the package at rank three that is very cool and i think we also got a few other options here we got a new a new emblem paladin's blazon that looks pretty neat so that's very cool i don't know if there's anything else i saw a few things pop up on the screen i did get a treasure key we got another treasure key in that package and uh, i think that was it but pretty cool so you actually do get a uh, rank up package with her at rank 3 with some nice little goodies in there. And the Queen's Wrath is still showing that I can get to rank 4. Uh, it's another 3,000 experience, so probably another 2 or 3 weeks worth of doing those bounties. So I wonder if you'll get another package at rank 4. That'll be interesting. Pretty cool, guys. So there is a little bit of an incentive there for getting to rank 3 with Petrovenge, which at this point, if you guys have been doing those bounties every week, you should be getting pretty close or there already. So you get some goodies there waiting for you at the reef when you hit rank three with the Queen's Wrath. Anyways, guys, it's just been a quick look at that. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you again next time.